Hello everyone, and welcome to our Wednesday deck tech for Runeterra. Uh, my name is Gunter9 on behalf of Nephilim GG. You can see our credentials on the not not ugh, not credentials. You can see our uh, socials on the side. Uh, Nephilim.gg. Twitter is Nephilim underscore GG, and you can email us at nephilimgg at mail .com. If you are interested in joining our competitive team, content team, or just joining our community, uh, there will be a link to the Discord below. As well as you can see, uh, we also have the logos for Inked Gaming, uh, to which I am personally an affiliate. So if you want to get discounts on some amazing merch, uh, go down to the description below, uh, use my link, use my code, and you'll get 10% off. We also have the BCRF, the Breast Cancer Research Foundation, which plays a critical role in today's uh, deck tech because we are doing a deck tech um, I'm calling, well, the BCRF, and it is a deck containing exclusively female characters and uh, heroes. So our heroes are Fiora and Katarina. Um, we're also, because it's got Fiora, we're going with a kind of protection sub package. Um, so we've got Bright Steel Protector, uh, Legion Drummer, kind of, that's not protection, but gives her first strike. Um, we also got single combats in there, uh, Prismatic Barrier, which has Lux's art. If we actually blow that up, there she is, Lux, another powerful female character in uh league of, or sorry in well in league of legends but also legends of runeterra and we all we have the standard judgment combo going in there and just everything else is almost exclusively female or, or oriented um the spells aren't necessarily because i mean whirling death uh well that's definitely not female but hey who knows uh plus it's great with fiora so not 100%, but we're trying. I'm trying to do as much as I could to represent women uh, in support for the Breast Cancer Research Foundation, because we all have mothers, we all have sisters, we all have daughters, uh, we've got cousins, we've got important women in our life, and it is important to myself personally because my mother was recently diagnosed with inflammatory breast cancer, uh, and unfortunately, it's aggressive. So, um, that being said. Uh, we're going to play a match, but we'll also go down into the description where I've said everything else is before. You can click on our click on our link, our team's link, and please help donate to the cause. It is a great cause, and I'm sure everyone that has ever been affected by cancer in any way, shape, or form would appreciate it. That said, let's actually take this deck out for a spin and see what it can do. There we go, all right. And as you can see, we've changed our logo. We now have a pink halo going around the top there. And we have a pink halo going. Um, gonna get rid of the bold. For that, I'm gonna keep Katarina and the Bright Steel Protector. Because Katarina is just ballin'. Oh, nice, double Katarina. And a Glory Seeker. Glory Seeker will actually be really good if we combine it with a Bright Steel Protector. What are we facing off against? Braum and Hecarim. Um, interesting combo. Very interesting combo. Um, so let's see. We've got Glory Seeker. will work really well with the Bright Steel. Katarina is just awesome because when she attacks... Uh, when she strikes, you recall her, but she also levels up. And every time you play her, it's a 4 cost for a 4-3 rally. And outside of regular... Um, oh, sorry, outside of direct removal, you can't, you can't actually kill her. So... Oh no, it looks like our opponent's roping. Are they roping? Is not how I wanted the first victory to go. Well, 
I'm going to play this because that's what I would normally play on this round. And we are, I think, maybe. We'll wave high. Took our little Poro down here. Make him do something fun. Oh, there's a big stretch and a big yawn. All right, we'll end. Now, he didn't play anything. So I'm going to go with a the Katarina. If he is active, then we should be seeing something now. He's got more than enough, unless he just... This might be unfortunate. All right, well... And the opponent surrendered. All right, let's see if we can get another match in. Because that was way too short, and I did really don't want to count that. So we'll skip through all of this, and we will play again. Sorry if this looks weird on the screen, like right up, up above there. I've got the VCRF, I've got the inked. I've got my own little button down there, and then the Nephilim logo up there. Um, the BCRF logo, unfortunately, it's got a gray tint to it. So trying to... Oh, Fiora Ripost. It will replace both of the Guardians. Um, it's very gray and doesn't work well on a lot of... Uh, double Fiora, single combat, um, and a Whirling Death. This could be interesting. That's perfect. That is quite perfect for Fiora. We are going to lose a little bit of traction. Oh, a Trefarian. Trefarian Glory Seeker. Let's take our one. And now, because I want either Whirling Death or Single Combat available, I'm going to pass. Normally I would play the Trefarian, but I just I can't afford to not have that spell mana. Because now I can play that, and because I've got standalone, that's gonna turn her into a 6-6. Six, six. So if he has or they have some sort of removal. Yeah, that is perfectly viable. Um, I will, however, fuck you and make this a 3-6, and we will take our first life. Perfect. One of four down. Go Fiora. And now she's back to being a 6-5. Uh, I'm summoned Grant. Okay. So we have... Uh, we can we can ripost. We have double ripost. Uh, that's the extra Fiora, so we're not going to touch that one. We're going to go for this one first. Um, alternatively, we can Whirling Death, but it doesn't save her. It, no, it really doesn't save her much, depending upon what comes down. So there's a Draven. We're going to pass. We are going to pass. What's he going to do? He's going to let us actually take the, uh, take the lead. All right. So we can... Oh. We can play two to give an ally barrier. Attack. Pull one in. And then we can Whirling Death other one. going to be five, three. It'll still leave us three more for a potential single combat if necessary. Um, or let's give it a barrier. We'll keep a four in for the ripost. We'll swing with both of these. We can challenge 
definitely think we're going to challenge the Draven. Kill all enemies with zero power, then frostbite all enemies. Well, that was interesting, wasn't it? Now, he's only got one, so I'm actually going to attack. I'm going to pull the Draven, and I'm going to Ripost. So we're going to get another barrier, and we are going to kill the Draven off. I don't think he can cast anything for one that could stop this from going off. And that'll keep that protected. We'll have two more in the chamber. This will be two level up. What do we got? Okay. Giving it... Or three for no reason, other than maybe to discard something. Alright, two of four down, leveled up. So Fiora is looking good at four six. And we're just gonna end because we want to bank this so that we can ripost and have a whirling strike available. We could, depending, oh, wow. Wow, okay. Oh, a Katarina. Very interesting. We'll pass. Just, just be careful for the amount of mana that he's got. That they've got stacked in there. What can they do? Okay, so that's well, that's free. Beautiful. That's game. That is game. That should be game because we have a ripost and a whirl. We defend anything. You're only going with one. Alright, so we are going to ripost now. Oh, I see what happened. <clears throat> I, I actually screwed up. Ish. I screwed up because she's going to strike first, which means she's going to automatically recall. That's three. She's going to recall. I'm going to put her down to three. And we're going to pass. Stock two more in the chamber. We have the Whirling Death, so we can challenge this and Whirling Death for the win and a Prismatic Barrier. So we are immediately going to battle this enemy and we'll keep the burst of the Prismatic Barrier in hand just in case. Is this it? Does the BCRF deck win? What's going on? Frostbite an enemy? Are oh, they going to frostbite me, huh? Alright, I guess we have to barrier here. What's one more turn? Uh, that didn't do anything. We're not going to keep two in the chamber this time. We're actually going to go with a Katarina. 
You're going to have more than enough mana. That is not going to make a difference. There's Katarina rallying. Not going to be able to do it twice. I'm going to put in my own Katarina, though. Oh. This might not be what, uh, because he can pull directly Fiona or Fiora directly out. Oh. Nope. Oh, we almost had it. We almost had it. All right. Unfortunate. Well, our other Fiora is going to come in leveled up, which is something. So, oh, it's his turn. Their turn. Okay, that's a good. Yeah, put down our glory seeker. I want our glory seeker to bait out his, the rim fang, but the rim fang is going to come in and it's going to take the Katarina. And there's the Katarina, which was that was a mistake on their part. That was a mistake. It's on your attack. You haven't attacked yet. They should have rimfanged, get rid of that, then played the Katarina down in order to get a second attack. I'm gonna have to mitigate as much damage as I possibly can. I still will have the five for the Radiant Guardian, which should keep us in the fight that Katarina is going to be a pain we don't have any direct removal deal with her especially considering she's going to recall so we are going to take that out and we are going to take that out we're going to, that can't block so we're going to take four we're going to lose three units unfortunately but we are going to drop down a 5-5 five, five tough lifesteal. Which is going to be very difficult for them for him to deal with next turn. Especially with a ripost and a bear. Uh, ripost bear. Alright. So. You are coming down here. We don't we want to stop them from being able to nuke our uh, our plans. All right? That gives us a chance so we are going to give Ripost and Barrier. We're still going to take out this Rhyme Fang because that is the most annoying piece that we have to deal with. You've only got a you've got a Katarina, you've got a spinning axe, that's not gonna do anything, and you've got one other card. So you can Katarina if you want. It's gonna suck. Yeah. Here comes Katarina. I have to block it. Or actually, you know what? I'm not going to block it. I'm going to take the four. It's going to put me down. I don't like being at seven, but that's going to go right back up into their hand. It means they're going to have to play it back down in order to have any value next turn, which gives me a chance to play whatever comes in. That's another ripost. All right. So a single ripost, as long as they don't have any frost, that's what I'm looking for. All right, we're going to pass. I can ripost, eight, nuke that, and go up nine health. 
that's a bit of a problem. I can survive one, can't survive both. But doesn't have Katarina, so can't do a double swing. Okay. Interesting. That's even more interesting. And we have the uh, mana to do it. So, let's pull you there. And we're immediately going to give this the barrier. And watch him put the five down here. Or. Got one spell left in hand. Yep, there's the five. Okay, yep, spinning axe. Perfect. Thinking that that's going to be just enough. So now puts priority back to us. We're going to nuke both of these off the board. Go up to 15. I mean, in theory, you can play, you can play Katarina twice. That's quick attack. So that's going to suck. Because I don't have a way to defend against it. Skip block. Go back up. Again, I do not have a way to defend against that. So I'm hoping I get something... Yep, perfect. You can attack, you bring me back down to 7. Katarina is the only thing you're banking on. Back down to 7, it's going to go up. If you want to attack, you're going to have to go first. What do we draw into? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Raven, not what I want to see. Okay. Again, failed. Should have attacked with that first then done the rally. But I didn't. So I have to take that, but I am going to stomp. I'm going to have to take that, but I'm going to stop this Katarina BS. And we got, we at least got our five, we got five health back. And next turn, he can't justify playing anything. Next turn, we can pull the Draven. With that, oh, oh, even better. Um, well, That's not going to make a difference. I'm just going to straight up take that because that's not going to do anything. The fearsome's not of any value. Frostbite. That's a pain. Okay, you got axes. I get it. Should have used some of those axes. That's what you should have done to level up because that would have at least given you overwhelm. Or we are going to put down Sithria the Bold. So that is a 6-6 six, six that he is going to have to... Or they're going to have to... Light off. Holy crap. This video is going long. That's my own Katarina. And then... Oh, wow. An Evolved Ash. Which... Pretty much that seals the game because as soon as Ash attacks, as soon as Ash attacks, that takes that out. That can't block. 
You've got more than enough damage coming through. I can't stop the Draven. Yeah. I can't stop the Draven. Katarina's not going to do anything. Going to use one? Yeah, because it's going to replace. So discard one. There's one. That'll help level them up by one. Gets another one back. Yeah. So next turn, they'll be able to use both of those. All right. We're going to attack because we have the standalone. It's not going to help us a whole lot. That sucks. All right. Because I can already tell you the way that this is going to play out. I don't know what that is. But with what we do know, they win. Because they're going to attack. That's going to nuke this. I can stand alone to give that plus three. Block that. And the five, six damage right to our face. Outside of a slight miracle, that's not the miracle. They don't know we have the standalone, but the standalone's not going to make or break it, because there's that. Should attack with a Draven. Alright. Alright, I'm going to stand alone to bring that back up. Going to attack there. We are going to give the nod, because we do know that we've lost. Because... There's the spinning axe to give that Draven plus one plus O. Oh. Didn't even use it. Didn't even use it. There's the spinning axe. Great. That's the win. Yes, we know. Thank you. Oh, and you're calling strike just for the douchiness. We had such a great game. This was a great back and forth. And then he had to go and be a jerk. Mind you, for all he knows, this could be a frostbite. So, a frost wins. But I don't have spell yard, so it couldn't be that. Um, Nothing at quick speed would be able to do this. So, yeah, no. This is it's good insurance, but it's absolutely unnecessary. Either way, great game, back and forth. Um, shame we lost, but alas, can't win them all. And, oh, why not? We'll just watch the animation. Yay, Draven leveled up. All right. So that is my tribute to the BCRF, Breast Cancer Research Foundation. I'll have the deck code down below in the description. So again... Thank you for watching, and if you can, please give to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. If you haven't been affected, someone else out there has. I know I certainly have, and we need to stop it. We need to stop it before it even becomes an issue. So again, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting, and remember, be excellent to each other.